All right, good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome to uh, this uh, public uh, notice of public hearing Monday, August 26th at 6.15 p.m. Uh, I, I call to order. Uh, I'm looking for approval of the agenda. Thank you, moved by Councillor Kobayashi, seconded by Councillor Logan. Uh, any discussion? None, all those in favor? Opposed, carried. Um, This public hearing is conveyed pursuant to section 465 of the Local Government Act uh, to allow the public to make uh, the representations to council respecting matters containing in the following proposed bylaw. Colwood Official Community Plan Bylaw number 1700, 2018, amendment number one, the Omnibus uh, Amendments Bylaw number 1701, 2019. Every one of you present who believes that you are that your interest is affected by the proposed bylaw shall be given a reasonable opportunity to be heard or to present written submissions respecting matters contained in this proposed bylaw. None of you will be discouraged or prevented from making your views known. However, it is important that you restrict your remarks to matters contained in the proposed bylaw. When speaking, please commence your remarks by clearly stating your name and address. The function of council at this public hearing is to listen to you rather than to bait, debate the merits of the proposed bylaw. Council may ask questions of speakers for clarification. After this public hearing has concluded, council may, without further notice, give whatever effect council believes proper to the representations made at this hearing. Uh, the planner will now introduce the purpose of this uh, amended bylaw. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, this bylaw is the first uh, omnibus amendment bylaw to the official community plan. I'd like to note that we're on the eve of the first anniversary of the OCP, and uh, this uh, amendment focuses on some rather minor errors that were uh, found in the document since adoption last year. The most significant in terms of the uh, corrections relate to the uh, land use designation map. Uh, there were several uh, areas that were misrepresented, most importantly, uh, the agricultural land reserve areas. So we've corrected that and made further amendments as uh, stated in the bylaw. The second uh, important component to this bylaw is the enablement of temporary use permits. So with this amendment, it'll give council the ability to issue temporary use permits for specific properties even if zoning does not allow for specific uses, the temporary use permits would be able to give uh, the owners or operators of um, a business or um, other land use the ability to carry on a specific use for up to three years and then council has the opportunity to renew for three years more. So with that, I leave it to, to the uh, remainder of the public hearing. Thank you. Great, thank you. Uh, I will then now look to the public uh, for comments regarding uh, bylaw number 17001. Uh, please come on up. Uh, if you can just state your name and your address. If you don't want to say it for the uh, for the camera, we can just take it privately after. Uh, my name is Beth Mills. Um, I'll give my address to uh, the recording secretary afterwards. I really wasn't aware that there was a specific discussion topic, so I have one that I would like, I think it would tie in with your proposals for the community uh, action plan. Um, honorable Mr. Mayor and uh, respected councillors, I, I have lived in Colwood for a year and a quarter now. My, my husband and I live on Longworth Place, which is at Promenade Park area above the secondary school, beautiful, beautiful views from there. We ride recumbent tricycles, both of us. I have two hips replaced, so I have a motorized one. My husband has uh, hearing issues, and um, he wants to be able to keep up with me, so his, motor, his uh, recumbent tricycle is also motorized. We ride the Galloping Goose. We ride alongside. We ride all the way to down to, we did soup potholes on Saturday. It was a glorious ride, beautiful day. My concern is about the accessible and connecting cycle paths and trails in the Colwood area. Um, a lot of them don't exist. There are streets where there are partial cycle paths along with the margins, uh, busy roads like Latoria, um, 
the Island Highway Soup Road, uh, the Chosen Road, Wishart Street. That's within my general purview. So I leave from my front door and I can go through the meadow, down through the new development, and across that lovely little path up to Painter. And then from Painter, I go over to the Chosen. From there, I'm sort of stuck. I have to ride on the highway, on the road, to be able to get over to Wishart, which also doesn't have a cycling path. It has a gravel path beside it. From there, I go up to the school, if I'm going towards the Lockside, for example. Um, there is practically no path beside the school. It's inside a, a fenced area in the Royal Roads Woods. Uh, if you go one way, you encounter uh, a fence. That's all within the Royal Roads area. Uh, if I want to go to the Goose and go south, uh, I have worked out a few places that I can safely go, but most of the time I have to be on sidewalks. And since I have a handicap, uh, pardon me, an symbol of accessibility symbol flag on my trike, uh, it is considered a wheelchair device. Um, even though it's motorized, it's not gas powered, it's electric powered. So I feel I, have, I can ride on the sidewalks. Uh, certainly there are not that many pedestrians in the area yet. But to get from my house to the Galloping Goose, say at Brittany Drive and, and West Shore uh, Mall, there are very few routes to go that have cycling paths, trails, uh, whatever, that are safe. And I find throughout the city of Colwood, as compared to, say, Langford, which has done an amazing job with green lanes and wides, uh, wide paths for a recumbent trike, Colwood's falling a little bit behind. I called the city hall, um, spoke to staff, I'm sorry, I don't remember, probably to somebody at the front desk, and they told me there used to be a cycling um, coalition, a cycling committee. Uh, it got disbanded because of city staff not being available for the time that was required. I don't know about the participation of the citizens. Uh, I gather that was a number of years ago. So what I would like to propose uh, is that such a committee be reestablished. I would love the opportunity to sit on that and to be uh, to, to help in the review of what is exactly available for people with larger than two wheel bikes uh, to safely get from A to B to C in Colwood and, and beyond. Um, this all started partly because I tried to get from here. Um, yeah, actually, I, I went through Allendale, through the part that's now being developed, and that's obviously going to be unavailable to me soon. And then I went to the corner of Souk Road and with difficulty crossed Souk Road at Island Highway and then tried to get down that little tiny path that goes to Col uh, Colquitt's River Park, um, Colwood River Park. And uh, I tell you, on a trike, it's a bit of a challenge because it's narrow. It's intended for foot passengers. Um, regular cyclists obviously can use it, but I was told afterwards when I asked about it, um, why, why couldn't they replace the paddle barriers, as I call them, with bollards? And they said, well, no motorized vehicles are allowed down there, and there's a sign. I went, there's no sign. There may have been now, but I brought it to their attention, and it got put back up, apparently. So no, it's, it supposedly says no motorized vehicles. Um, my counter-argument to that was, what about people with uh, mobility scooters? Are they going to be denied the uh, opportunity to uh, access that beautiful little park from this very bu busy intersection? There's no way to get from Latoria Creek, uh, Latoria Road, up to West Shore on a cycle path safely for somebody in a mobility scooter, much less a recumbent tricycle. So the long and short of it, I, I have a lot more that I would like to propose. Should um, should I be uh, permitted to come back to another meeting or make a submission. But um, my basic proposal is I would like to uh, suggest that this committee of uh, citizens and staff be reestablished and um, that a review be made of what's out there, um, what can be done, 
how long it could be taking to done. So, so we have an inclusive, accessible, and connected community between Colwood, all of its new, uh, the new sections of building, and the other communities in, in uh, the CRD region. Uh, we need buffered bike lanes and connecting multi-youth paths and trails or some areas where the trail just stops. Uh, but that would be what I would like to ask council to consider. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm happy to, if you want to set up a time uh, through Nora, who's, who's our EA for council, uh, I'm happy to sit down and actually have a one-on-one -on -one discussion with you at, at any point. So uh, just feel free to, to reach out to, uh, to Nora tomorrow and uh, we'll arrange a time that you can come in and talk. I, I have sort of a short timeline on that. We're going to Winnipeg on Tuesday, so I will be gone for three weeks. Can we but maybe on the way, when you get back. W and when we get back, that'd yeah. be marvelous. Thank you very much, Great. Mayor. Great, thanks for, thanks for your time. Thank Mayor. you. Uh, is there anyone else uh, in, is, uh, in regards to public comments on bylaw number 1701? Uh, is there any other comments? I'm going to ask a uh, second time. Uh, is there any comments, public comments regarding bylaw number 1701? And then finally, for a third and final time, are there any comments, public comments regarding bylaw number 1701? Seeing none, uh, there has been no further comments by the public. I uh, will declare that the public uh, hearing is now closed. And may I have a motion to that effect, please? Moved. Thank you, moved by Councillor Bachter, second by Councillor Kobayashi. All those in favor? Opposed? Carried. Thank you. We'll see everybody back at seven.